Hey guys and welcome back to the next part of the volume modeling series and in this part we're going to go ahead and start creating the back bit of Wally's head which is going to be this section around here. So let's get started, we're going to unsmooth this for now and we're going to go ahead and make a little indentation like this one on the back as well. So we're going to go into our side view and go ahead and select everything and now hold on shift and deselect all the way up to here and that way we'll have the back faces selected and then we're going to go ahead and extrude so hit extrude and we're going to go ahead and extrude this inwards like so um, probably that will do and then hit extrude again and I'm just going to go ahead and extrude this inwards just a tiny bit um, so we get our supporting edge and then go ahead hit extrude again and move it in go ahead hit extrude again so we got our supporting edge and then move it down just a tad and then hit extrude again and set the offset so we get our other supporting edge and that way we're not going to have to go around and keep adding edge loops so it makes our life a little bit quicker so now that we have that if I just hit smooth we should have a pretty good result yeah I quite like that I might add an edge loop in here that we've forgotten to do so insert edge loop and I'm just going to add one half right here because I want that to be pretty smooth and one in there as well and we got one in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and have a look how it's looking yeah it looks good to me so now that we have that we're gonna go ahead and get our back um, referencing and we're gonna turn this around um, I find this way the quickest so I'm just gonna do it that way I'm gonna group everything together and then this head and then if I select my front reference, hit Control A, so I come into my attribute editor, select image plane 2, click on the little folder icon, and I'm just going to import my back. Click open. And then there we go, we got our back in there. And then I'm just going to rotate this. But I'm going to have to center pivot first. And then we're going to rotate this 180 degrees in here like so and then if I just come back into my front view we can line this up perfectly like so okay and now that's in there and then in my side view I'm just gonna move these here so I know what's going on and then we're also going to go ahead and hide all this so we're only going to have that there um, for a couple of times remove selected objects so I'm, going to, I'm just going to delete this layer cool right click delete um, and I'm just going to make a new layer for this and add selected objects and also going to go ahead and go to delete or by type history and also go delete edit delete all by type non deformer history just so you got a clean um, scene to start working on but so I'm just gonna hide that and make sure I got everything selected and add those to this as well like so and we can start modeling in this back piece and we're gonna start doing this exactly the same way how we've done the big piece we're gonna start with a cube um, which is the easiest way just make it set height so I'm just going to drag it out and it's going to be roughly that long like so and go back into my front view and then we're going to add some more divisions to this so we'll probably go with 8 Ooh, that might be a bit too much try 6 yeah 6 should do it, it might even be too much but oh well um, 
So we're going to go ahead and delete this. I mean, rotate this and delete it. And just move it where it should be. And just going to go into my x ray. And again, we're going to go ahead and start moving points about. Okay, so I'm going to move these points on the top. Like so. And start blocking out the shape how it should be looking and then again we're going to go ahead and move the um, inside points roughly as well so we get a better edge flow so move these two so again is the exact same process just moving points about Trying to get the rough shape in. Ooh, I think I'm following the wrong line, am I? I think I am. Let me just see. I think I'm following a wrong line. Well, I'll just start from here, move it down here. Yeah, I think I was. This should be somewhere up here. Like so. Okay, that's better. I think it's going to look something like this. I might just move these in a little bit. So again, you just got to go with your eye now and like move points around and make sure everything's looking quite nice and clean and then again I'm just adjusting these points you might think, I think we got too many but we'll see so now I'm just going to go ahead and smooth this and then add some um, supporting edges so um, you might do this by extruding the faces I think so I'm just going to go face mode go to my side view select everything deselect these and then I'm going to hit extrude and just give an offset like so and that should work pretty well think and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for this side extrude give an offset like so and then that will hold his shape a little bit better and we'll also do the same thing for these faces oh Christ I'm just going to select these manually making sure I don't have anything else selected Hit extrude give an offset like so and that didn't work because we need some edge loops going around here so I think we might just add them in like so and I think that should hold its shape now let's just go ahead and press 3 no it's not because of these edges around here so I think instead of extruding them in if I just undo them if I can go back that far um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and select this edge loop and this edge loop and this and this and I'm going to go and press delete edge now it should have worked and then instead of but we're just going to go ahead and add um, edge loops because that will work better 
I just thought the other way might be a little bit quicker. So I'm going to add some edge loops in here. We need some edge loops down here. So we'll hold that shape. And then now if we press 3 to smooth, that should look exactly how we want it to. There's a little bit of a thing going on there because of one of these points so if I go into here and then just select vertex and move this down a tad because that's what's causing the issue and then press free again and go back and have a look yep that's looking pretty good now so we got this piece created and we're gonna have if we go into our back or slash front view and hit x-ray as you can tell there's going to be um, things sitting in here and there's going to be some extra pieces here and also going to have to make this piece here that shouldn't be too difficult hopefully but if I open up my block and just move this so you get a rough idea how it's looking I'll move that in there as you can tell we just made the back piece of his head which looks a bit strange now but after we add the extra pieces in it will look okay and as you can tell it fits perfectly in there as well so this is created and I'm just quickly um, while I have some extra time for something small to do we're going to go ahead and add some um, screws to his head so we're not going to use this back piece anymore we only had it there for um, this big piece so I'm just going to select my front again and go into my image plane settings and open up the front again so it's back how it was and then we're going to group these two together just so you can rotate them back where it should be so again it's 180 and now we can I can just ungroup this from here hip shift shift P and now we have that ungrouped so if I just go into my side view and move these where they should be then we should have a pretty good result so I'm just going to move it exactly and also this seems to be a bit too thick according to our side reference because they might not line up perfectly but I'm going to scale it down anyway because they look too big for me when I was looking at it so I'm just going to adjust this and try to eyeball it to where I think it will look right and that's looking a little bit better and it still looks a little bit strange but it should it should be okay I might undo that um, and have it like that and then if I just go back into side view and just drag it up that might look a little bit better like so let me just have a look at the proportions now yeah that's looking a lot better so we're going to leave that as it is and we're just going to quickly um, I'm just going to name this to be back back head and we're going to name if I ungroup this from here and delete this node I'm going to have that as it was and we're just going to quickly go ahead and create um, the screws for the front of the head before that we're just going to go ahead and delete all by type history and we're going to go ahead and create the um, some of the screws um, that sit in there in front of his head the first one is really easy so that's just basically you're going to create a sphere 
and if we go into the inputs we're going to turn it down to 12 and 12 because we're going to go ahead and smooth it anyway so after that we're going to go into face mode select half of the faces and delete those go back into object mode press V to smooth and then scale it down roughly like so and that's going to be one of our screws or whatever that's what it looks like and then we're going to go ahead and create the second one so we're going to go ahead and make this sphere again and again turn down the inputs to 12 and 12 that should be good enough go into my side view I'm just going to move this out of the way like so and we're going to duplicate this and the duplicate we're going to scale this up like so because we're going to create a boolean so I'm going to go ahead and select these bottom faces and then delete those because they're not going to be seen anyway and then we're just going to have to um, go ahead and extrude this edge so it will hold that bottom edge so I'm just going to select that, hit extrude and um, go ahead and move this down a tiny bit with the offset hopefully it will work like so so I'm just going to move it down and then hit extrude one more time and this time we're going to scale this in just a tad and now this way if we smooth it now so it will hold our bottom shape and now what we're going to do is we're going to scale this one down as well like the other one go into my side view Let's go up a bit and then move this piece inside that one um, roughly to about there and then we're going to go ahead and select this piece first and this piece first then go ahead and mesh um, where are my booleans? Are they mesh? no it should be mesh there we go boolean difference and now as you can tell I made this and the reason why we can use booleans for this one because this is not going to get beveled or we're not going to do anything else to it or animate it or what so on so it's not going to break okay so now that we got this we're going to go ahead and insert an edge, extra edge loop in here just so it will hold that, this edge a little bit better if I smooth this now, that's looking exactly like we want it to. So now I'm going to go into my front view and move these things there. And then I'm going to go ahead and select my screws and just drag these up. And then we're going to have to go ahead and rotate 90 degrees. And we're also going to have to go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees. And also we're going to go ahead and delete our history because of the boolean operation now I'm just going to go and modify center pivot and turn x-ray on and this one with the boolean in it is going to sit on the top up here and then we're going to need two of these to sit on the bottom so I'm going to scale this down first maybe a little bit more and then duplicate and I'm just going to move it up and then if you find them where they are you can go ahead and move them to the right place so I just selected all of them 